I just also end up with another very short video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create a cool wedding template. Well, this video was supposed to be for Mother's Day, but for some reason I couldn't finish the video, so that's what I just changed to wedding template. So first we're gonna make in Photoshop, and then we're gonna immigrate into After Effects to make the animation. But before, I'm gonna show you the final result, what we're gonna be doing first in Photoshop, as I mentioned before, and then in After Effects. So let me show you guys the final result first. Photoshop here we got the final result let me see actually this is what we're gonna be creating today you know with this cool um brushes in Photoshop so that's the good news for you guys so just check out my page where I have the brushes to download for Mac and PC and I update some more brushes those are the new brush that I added to the package so just feel free to download that's for free of course if you see the all those um, brushes are in the package so you can just go ahead and download it, of course. And this is what we're gonna be creating today. This is the final result in Photoshop. And then we're gonna be jumping to After Effects, of course. Uh, another quick note, there's some um, template we're gonna be creating in CC, the Creative Flow, the latest Photoshop version. And also you can use uh, CS6, but I don't think so you can uh, use the previous version like CS5 because I don't think so. They have the pattern we're going to be using this um, background. As you see, this is a pattern. So let me close this. And also I got a couple more projects that I was uh, trying to uh, see the way to create this. So I got in here. This is what I was uh, supposed to be created before the Mother's Day. This was um, the first uh, tutorial. Actually, let me see which one what I got off. Oh, Come on, where did it go? Uh, oh, here it is. So this is where we gonna, I mean, it's trying to create, I mean, trying to see, um, to create a nice and designs, you know. So this is the cool part that you can create with this and brushes. So, you know, just download and start working. So I have a couple videos, how to install on PC, also in Mac. So let's start the video. Oh, first, uh, let me show you the final result that we're going to be creating After Effects. I haven't shown you yet. So let me see. Actually, I have in here. Here, let me see. Play with uh, VLC player. What I have? Oh, come on. This too annoying this shit. Okay, there you go. Sorry. There you got the animation, the title, and then jumps to the second placeholder. Uh, so where we have a couple images, actually flowers, and the flower is growing. And also the text animated. And then jump to another placeholder. We got the heart to um, frames and also the flourish animated and text as well. Alright, so that's uh, that's the final result. We after we finish in Photoshop, so we will be creating an After Effects. So let me close this out. And so the good news of this is I need I mean I already have the Flourish animated in my site, so you can check my website and download. Of course, well it's not uh, free. I'm sorry to say that the animated Flourish are not free. Uh, you know I I haven't added the the price, but as, as soon as I can uh, upload the tutorial so I can add the price. So it won't be uh, much, it will be a decent amount. So please, if you like, you know, just uh, download it. It's safe, you can purchase with, I mean, using PayPal, the only way to use it right now. And as, as I said, security and safe. So, you know, and so this is the package, it comes like 20 pieces of animated so you can create a nice designs and let me see actually I have a short design that I made with those uh, flourish or swirls it's a mixer you know and you see so yeah just download and you start and start creating cool animations I guess yeah and also the uh, this package coming with this project so uh, the script will be in and so you can start, you know, change the, na the name. So let me see them back here. You see, uh, it says I love you. So you can just change the name. And also you can start creating your own. 
so it's the same effect uh, to bounce the a heart is the same effect that I use in the uh, the template that we gonna be creating in After Effects so also what else is in here the news is the vectors uh, yeah like two years ago when I uploaded to my side the brushes pack and I had a couple comments asking me if I have the vectors for Illustrator so that's what I decide to create this package actually for uh, uh, for Illustrate, of course, it's vectors, and you know it's compatible with uh, CS5, CS6, and the CC, the latest Creative Cloud, and comes with uh, the file format comes and AI and EPS. So you know, just check out and download, and of course you can use this for printing. Uh, you know, that's much better because it's the shapes of vectors. So let's be said, let me just uh, minimize this and let's start doing the project actually this uh, tutorial is gonna be you breaking in two parts first in Photoshop and then after effects so let me see let me actually jump to my Photoshop this is the latest version I got the original project in here so we're gonna be creating the same project so don't worry we will be a step by step okay let me see actually let me just move a little bit and see how it looks like Actually, you see, I had the first placeholder. Actually, we got five placeholders. No, it's uh, five. Uh, yeah, actually, this is the main title, and this is the second, and this is the third, fourth, and the fifth, and the last one. All right, so we're gonna be creating the same, so you know. Just follow me, stay, and let's make this work. So first we need to create a new, of course, and we're gonna type this, uh, maybe wedding, maybe template, easier. And so the dimensions we're gonna, you know, we're gonna set, uh, I don't know, dimensions. What are we gonna, I don't know, 9,600. And the height, we're gonna live in 1080. And let me just click OK. So there you go. And also we need to create another new document. And this, we're going to choose the preset. We're going to choose um, film and video. And we're going to also the size. We're going to choose HD TV 1080p. And resolution doesn't matter because we are not going to print in this out. Is this for video. So we can leave it to 72. And then just hit OK. And there we have. I'm doing this to make the guidelines because the way to measure it, the original template over here. So that's what I, I came with this. So I, what I need to do in, in here is pick the selection tool or the single row marquee tool and just, you know, start. Make sure at, uh, it's a snap it. Uh, so we just um, make sure it's a check mark and snap tool or whatever you know we need to snap to the line so that's what I need to make sure it's checked so let me just once we have the selection let me see actually we need to make a right click and then a stroke and let's uh, you know maybe red make a uh, red line make sure it's center then okay and the same thing this one right click stroke and okay all of them four lines so Okay, this one as well. And also we need those vertical lines also. So let me choose the single color marquee tool. And then we need to add the color, which is red and one pixel. And this one, that's it. Also those last ones. And there you go. Let's hit OK and pick the move tool and then drag into my project. So there you go. Actually, of course, it just appear on the lines. And so before to jump to the next step, we need to add the, the background in here. So the way to add a background is we need to add a solid color. Uh, for this uh, tutorial, we're going to use this following volumes which is 86, 82, 71, but you can choose any color you like and then hit OK. And also we need to add um, a later style. So let me see, we need to add uh, the pattern overlay. 
en Adobe Photoshop CS6 en Adobe Photoshop uh, CC the Creative Cloud comes this nice pattern you know you can just go this uh, to this uh, gear icon and then load the pattern so we be uh, the first uh, artist uh, surface and uh, that's the pattern we're looking for uh, you know gonna work in this uh, for the I mean using this uh, for this uh, project and also we need to scale this to 50 55 and we need to change the blending mode to divide and there you go so I hit OK then we got our background so let me just put, uh, put this underneath the uh, guidelines and there we go actually let me just uh, put this through the trash so let me just uh, trash it are you sure? yes and then you know, let me just put this all the way to the left also the way to put this is I go to select select all and make sure the layer is selected the line guy in this case and let me just align this to the top and to the left and there you go so let me just deselect and go to select and deselect and then let me just zoom in a little bit and then we can start adding our lines so let me see just put this I know we you will ask what I'm doing this because uh, I don't know it's just wasting time maybe but I'm doing this because I need to have my objects inside this frame you know so that's for when we jump to into After Effects so that will be much easier to use this so that's what I'm trying to do this the easiest way you know and so that's why I came out with this so actually it's, I know it's taking a little time but we need to make sure that things comes nicely and easy you know so that's what I decide to make those guidelines there you go and also let's put all of them just move this actually you know so another line in here and another line make sure it doesn't move uh, I mean make sure to have this uh, snap it to the guideline All right so let me just start finishing with this to have this a little you know uh, arm or hand in this case it's not an arm so just uh, press the space, space key on the keyboard so you can get this shortcut it's, uh, it's nice to move the the project so let me see just start doing kept on the the lines in this case so you know what I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back as soon as I finish with the lines you know because it takes a little time to be doing this slow I mean it takes time you know so I'll be back when I finish adding all the lines to the five frames that we have in here uh, as we see the original so we have one and two and you know so that's what I'm like using here I got all inside the frame actually it's a little out of frame but that's what I'm trying to make you know and that's why I create this anyway so I'm gonna post the video and I'll be back as soon as I can alright I'm back I already had the guidelines so let me see show you what I'm talking about so this is oh come on uh, so this is the first second third and this one's the fourth and this one's the fifth you know so let me just uh, answer, I mean put this invisible and let me work with the first frame then so which is here so the first one we need what we have is let me see actually uh, pull this to my other screen and see what we have first actually what I have this 
All right, so the first we have the title. Actually, for the title, let me pick the text tool and type, I don't know, you will come to my wedding party. Party. And let me see, actually, let me increase the size maybe to 136. Yeah, looking good actually. Let me see. Let me add 140. 140. And also, I need to change the color. So, the value for this color is the same. We had a no, 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 the same. No, it's uh, 301F0A. You can copy the value so you can add the same color or if you can add another color because you can change the background uh, anytime you want also so let me check this and show you the way and the easiest way to create and to change the color so look, let's see we'll just uh, click this uh, little square and the color picker and you can start choosing the color so it's just easy when you add the solid color layer it's uh, the same, uh, I mean, it's uh, not hard to change when you just add a regular color. So you have to be picking the packet tool and, you know, choose the color. No, the, doing this way is uh, much easier and fast. You see, you can change any color you want. So let me just cancel because I don't like any color. I like that color that I choose at first at the beginning of the tutorial. And so let me also create another layer call and let's call this Rose maybe Rose and let me pick my brush so you have to download first install and then start the tutorial so let me pick the brush what I'm looking for is this struck rose where is it must be in here uh, yeah there you go actually it's in here let me see the color I mean the size we can adjust the size and this uh, brushes panel or the shortcut is under the backspace the, we got two brackets the left and the right so the right is to increase the size and the left is to decrease the size of course so let me also change the same color as, as the text so let me just pick the color there you go and let me just give a click and there we have that's cool looking huh man a few steps and a few seconds it's a cool title so let me also add um uh particles so let me just call a uh, new layer and then let's rename this particles uh particulas i don't know what i did but any point anyway so you know what it's called uh, particles and so let me take the uh, brush actually the shortcut is the b as a boy or you can pick the uh, brush tool and the panel tool and then let me see pick the uh, brush comes for default and for and any uh, uh, version of adobe photoshop which is this and we'll make sure it's a uh, hardness zero and this size we're gonna also see if we go window brushes and there we got the brush settings so make sure it's selected brushing tip shape and then uh, we need to adjust the size which is 10 you know I've been making a lot of projects so that's what I know the size of what I'm using in this project and also we're gonna space it a little bit you know you try to space the way you want and also the shape dynamic we need to adjust the size gerrard and also this cutter so you can just uh, start playing with those settings uh, so when you are happy with the settings so we gonna just add the particles there you go simple as that so we finished with the first uh, frame and we need to jump to the second uh, so let me see uh, I don't know what I did the particles in there so let me uh, see actually let me pick the move tool and let's start doing the first placeholder which is we're gonna start with the heart so let me see go back to my brushes brush the tool and open the brushes panel and pick the heart so let me see actually just click you know whatever and let me I don't know what you know what I made in the particles later so we need to create a new layer to add the heart so let me see add a new layer 
actually and call this heart and click and also we need to duplicate the way to duplicate this is just uh, drag and drop in this uh, uh, layer icon and we duplicate the other way is to hold control J as a James and PC and Mac will be command J to duplicate and let me call this mask then we need to add a layer style which is a um, color overlay and let me see with white so we need to have this white color and also right click and rasterize the layer style so we got the normal layer and also we need to convert to smart object and then we need to go edit free transformation or free transfer or oh, the shortcut is control T command T and Mac and holding down shift and odd hold, uh, shift and option Mac we can resize a little bit the the mask there we go and then we need to add the image so go to um, file open so you know you have to have this those image ready for for the project or for the tutorials or for anything you working so let me see the first i need to insert is the flower so i may i need to see what i have my flower actually oh i don't know what i have so let me see i should have somewhere hmm that's weird anyway so let me see I need to find out where I have my flowers let me put all right after searching my external hard drive and I found the flowers folder and I have this flower folder so let me go to this uh, which one I have first is this one so let me just put uh, insert or import or open and then let me pick the move tool and then we just drag and drop in the cam when the pro of the project make sure it's on the top of the mask uh, also we need to convert it to smart object and we need to insert inside the mask so let me see actually let me see if the way to insert in the mask there's a couple ways to insert this into the mask first is right click and create clipping mask the other way to insert inside the mask is holding down shift, I mean holding down alt, option in Mac, and you see it changed the uh, little icon, this little icon is square and the arrow pointing down. So and that's the way to insert the image also. So uh, let me, you know what, let me create, uh, put all those layers inside the folder. So let me see, actually pick the holding down, uh, Control Command the Mac, uh, select and the three those three layers, holding down Control again and G as a golf, we create the group the folder. So all the layers inside the folder, and we're gonna rename this heart, and then we might need to resize this a little bit mm, small. So let me see. Actually, hold it on Control T as a tom we can make the free transform holding down shift alt we need to scale down there you go actually you know what let me see the flower I need to make a little bit smaller there you go let me see actually maybe rotate a little bit actually let me see what's going on with this there you go so there we have our first um, heart with a flower with the frame let me just put this a little bit down and we need to create the rectangular so the way to create a rectangular is pick the uh, rectangle shape or rectangle tool and let me see actually let me just uh, click and will pop up this re um, create a rectangular window which we can add the the size so let's see we might be doing 800 by 500 and let me just hit ok so the color is fine and so let me actually duplicate this so let me just drag and drop 
duplicate and let me rename this as a mask mask and also we need to change the color so just pick, uh, that's the way to change the color when, when you have a shape on my, or yeah shapes and also we need to change the size so make sure to change the size because uh, both of them are the same size so we got we need um you know 25 um, pixels on the top 25 pixels on the bottom also right and left so we need to resize this uh, so we have I, as I say I got 25 I, I want 25 each side so let me see 800 minus um, 50 will be 750 right 750 pixels and the, also the high we need to add which is um, 500 minus 50 will be 450 and there you go of course there's a problem we don't have this aligned to the center so that's easy pick the move tool make sure the mask is selected holding down R I mean holding down control command and Mac press uh, you see this uh, little icon so you know just something showing here actually let me just click and make the selection and there we have we can align this to the center to the center and that's it that's the easy way to align the objects actually let me see what's my Photoshop it's going crazy so let me just answer like this and the only thing we need to do or the next step is to add the image so let me go file open and see where I have my image that's what I have then here so let me just open I know this image is a little bigger so let me just drag and drop in my comp uh -huh. so make sure it's on the top of the mask and let me also convert to smart object let me just resize the size so hold down control the minus key we can zoom out and let me see I'm actually holding down shift alt to resize the image there you go and so let me put inside the mask you know right click create clipping mask and there we have we got the image inside the mask let me see actually mm, do, 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 is looking good yes 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 let me see I think it's a little bit bigger I don't know what's wrong with this my computer let me just align this to the center and resize a little bit there you go beautiful and also we need to put this inside the folder so holding down shift or control select those three layers and hold it on control G and make the uh, folder so let me call this rectangular and then we need to move this to the left and also let's rotate so rotate a little bit they have also you know what let me put underneath the heart so it's behind it and the only thing we need to add so far is the brush so let me create another layer and call this brush but I put this uh, behind the heart I'm so I need this behind the heart so I'll put underneath the, the heart folder and let me pick the brush so you know hit the B as a boy or you can pick the tool over here and you know let's open the uh, brushes panel and let's see what we have in there so I think it's this one we can use the same color the size let me see decrease the size because it's a little bigger there you go and also it might be converting into object a uh, smart object I'm sorry then free transformation and let me just rotate a little bit there you go and also we need to add the text as well so let me see let's put uh, so let's say the best of my party yeah you can put anything 
go on and also we need to add the the particles you know what let me put the particles all the way on the top and then we can add the particles so let me pick the brush comes with uh, Photoshop for default you know it comes in any version so let me go to settings of course uh, make sure the brush tip shape is selected the size was 10 and the spacing so we need to work with the spacing also and then shape dynamic it's already set the way we want and also scattering and there you go so you don't have to be doing the settings anytime you go to the brush settings so let me just add uh, the particles all right so what do you think i think the the frame this frame is a little bigger so let me see that's easy to resize if it's too big actually and there you go and also it's out of the frame so the uh, title safe or whatever they, I don't know they, how they call it but I think this uh, you know for TV they must use uh, when uh, export, exporting uh, for TV so let me see move this a little bit to the left and down a little bit also the heart we need to move uh, down and that's it might be moving the brush as well there you go and so the next step is to put these all those layers into a one folder so let's uh, select uh, select the heart the text brush and the rectangular hold it down control g g is a golf of course and let's put this uh you know what uh let's see first what i'm doing what i'm doing first uh placeholder and also maybe let's change the color so okay so here we got the first uh, frame placeholder so we need to create the second so that's much easier to create the second one so we need to duplicate so let's just duplicate and then we can move to the next frame so let me see actually just move so that we need to pull also the duplicated actually let me change this to yellow all right so and here the only thing we need to change is the image and the brushes of course the text as well so let me just open this first we need to change the image inside the heart so the way to change is just replace it you know you know just we need to replace actually i have this nice rings inside the this heart so let me just um, drag and drop into my comp and there you go actually let me see let me just delete this image and make sure yes i sure yes also we need to convert to smart object and let's make this free transform holding down control t as a tome and let me just resize it all right and let me see also we need to put inside the mask there you go actually it's a little bigger so we need to make a smaller of course there you go and also we need to change the the, the rectangular i mean the frame so and this we got two frames so let me see actually move this a little bit down and also i need to rotate to the to the right i, I don't know actually and then also we need to change to duplicate i'm sorry duplicate then let me call this um two and this one let me call one rectangle one rectangle two and so let me just move this up to also we need to rotate uh -huh. i don't know it's going out of frame 
So let me uh, zoom in a little bit, actually, and see. We might need to resize the frame. So let me see. Actually, resizing a little bit smaller. There you go. Also, we need to resize this one. And let me see. Actually. And you know what? Let me see. Move a little bit. My computer's become too slower. I don't know why. Uh, might be because I'm using Photoshop and other applications, and also I'm watching YouTube. So that I'm, uh, that's the way it's getting slower, S slow. And also, it's not a powerful computer. Anyway, so let's start the the beta. So you know what? Let me put this on the top. There you go. And also, let me move this a little bit down. Uh huh. It might be moving the heart as well. So let me see, actually. There you go. Yeah, that's the way we have in the, in the original project. And also, we need to change the, the brush. So let me create another layer called this brush. And let me put this to the trash. Are you sure? Yes. And let's see what we have in here. And here I got the second or the next brush, which is, let me see, in my brush panel. And I can pick, you know, just a download from my side, and you will have the same brushes I'm using this project. So this is what I'm going to use, actually. Let me see. Uh, yeah, there you go. So make uh, a smart object. Right click a smart object. And let me make this a free transform and make a little smaller holding down shift and odd which is a shift and an option will be a map of course so you know sometimes I confuse I do know what let me just flip horizontal and let me just rotate a little bit all right then we need to add the particles as as I guess let me see, adding the particles much easier, you already know. We already are in the first in the title. So you already know how to add the particles. Let me just go to settings. Of course, we need to add the size, which is 10. No, 110. It's one zero. And the spacing, so you know, and I like to play with this actually. And then shape dynamic, it's already set the size jitter. And the scattering, there you go. And make sure the foreground is the same color we've been using. And you can add the particles. And also, we need, might need to change the image in here because they uh, are looking the same as we have in the second frame, you know, same image. So let me see, we need to. Uh, replace the image so first we need to go to uh, to the rectangle one select the image that we have in and then go file open and let me see which one I have in here I got this one so let me see open this image and make sure pick the move tool and let me just drag and drop inside make sure it's in the top and also we need to convert a smart object so you already know i think you already uh catch the uh, the way to resize and you know so let me just uh uh free transform and resize it and also let's uh, rotate a little bit And then we need to trash it, this that we have in there. And then right click, create clipping mask. There you go. Actually, the girls are out of frame, so let me make this a little smaller. So we, we have all the girls inside the frame. So there you go. And also, I need to change this image, so you know, it's the same way. You know, we need to open this, make sure to select the image that we have in, go to file, open, 
and the next one is which one I have in oh, I think it's this one all right so just drag and drop and there you go so you know let me just uh, put this to the trash are you sure yes and also we need to convert to smart object and then we need to make this free transform holding down control T as a tome command T as a tome of course a Mac and let me just resize it also we need to rotate a little bit and also we need to put inside the mask so you know the second way is holding down alt and just click and it's inside the mask I think it's a little big so let me see actually if we resize it a little bit more down I see ah what do you think I think it's looking good and we I don't know so we already know I'm not I don't have to be doing all the all of them so you already know this tip so you just uh, you know let me see actually let me close this you can just uh, duplicate this actually it's, uh, it says uh, first and it should be uh, second instead of uh, first copy it must should be second let me rename this second and you know you can just uh, start duplicating and start replacing the image replacing the text and you know so let me just uh, I already duplicated and call this let me just rename this third actually let me erase this away which says copy and let me see ah uh, you know what and let me just okay so that's the way to create all of them actually you know because I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this because it's the same steps we just repeating so I don't see to keep doing this so you already know so you will end up with this this must be the final result so yeah just if you follow the steps so this will be the final result you know you can use your own image actually let me see and let me see the first okay let me see let me see yeah this is the first one it's the same way gonna be an after effect so first the title main title and then the second which has a one uh, two placeholder which is this one and this heart and of course the flower you can put a image if you don't have put uh, the flowers inside and this is the second so you know also we have this rings and the image and also this is the third actually you know with the uh, with different uh, brushes so as you know you can download my site and let um, me see this is the fifth yeah this is the fifth uh, let me see how many we got I think that we got four in there let me see we got one which is this two and three fourth and fifth okay this is the fifth yeah we got five uh, placeholders or oh, frames I don't know how they call anyway so that's the tutorial for today and then in Photoshop I think we already finished so hope you guys like it you know what just uh, keep in tune for the next uh, part will be after effects we're gonna export those uh, uh, MX actually we are not let me see I'll, I'll, I'll see the way the easy way to create uh, this uh, same animation in After Effects I think we are not going to export anything from After Effects except uh, the background of course the background will be exported from uh, Photoshop and then immigrate to After Effects so let me see actually yeah you know what yeah just subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Facebook uh, for any question the comment you just leave it down below you know in the comments area and all the description the links for anything will be in down below in the description as well and please 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 follow me on Facebook and Twitter I don't know if I say that again I don't know anyway so I'll see you in the next part bye